Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's lecture, we'll be discussing about the a very important concept we called it as a pi spark. So before we understand about the pi spark, we must understand about the technology we called it as a spark technology. Nowadays, whenever you are looking to start your career as a big data engineer or a data engineer there is a lot of boom is right now happening on the technology called spark so there will be a lot of question based on the spark because spark is a latest technology which is uh, having a lot of uh, values in the market right now so why is spark is very very important and what is the connection of the spark and pi spark so spark is a data processing framework what is this this is a data processing framework now when i say that it is a data processing framework means let's say you have huge amount of data you have loaded to the data warehouse now that data you are going to process it by using the spark framework okay let's say you have a huge amount of data now data can be of any format let's say it is a xml format json format or any other type of format so all that data you put it into the data warehouse and you want to process that data because this huge amount of data is not important for me i need the data which is required for my business and as soon as i get the data that data i will write to write it down to somewhere in the output format and then i will use it for my business purpose so all this processing kind of work can be done by using a spark technology so that is the reason we are calling spark is a data processing framework now this spark is written into the scala language initially when they have developed this spark technology they develop it into the scala language but spark can be written with multiple languages also like you can write down spark code along with the java you can write down spark code along with the scala also we can write down spark code along with the python language also and there is one more language is there which we call it as a r language now when we use a terminology called pi spark developer in most of the in most of the um, companies whenever they are sharing the uh, requirement they will mention that they are looking for pi spark developer so this pi spark developer means you have a knowledge about spark and for that you are using a python technology so if you have some basic knowledge about the python if you have basic knowledge that is more than enough to understand the spark technology so python along with the spark the combination of python and spark we are calling it as a pi spark so if you have knowledge about the python and if it is advanced knowledge that is really really good but even basic knowledge is more than enough to start with the pi spark technology and as i can see that spark is a very uniform technology means you can write spark with java like those people who are having a knowledge about java scala python or any r language they can easily understand the spark technology so when i say spy spark it is a combination of spark plus python now spark provide the application programming interface means uh, it has is predefined classes are there collections are there functions are there variables are there and that become our that makes our life very easy to write down a programming into the spark languages and spark pi spark is having multiple components are there now if i just talk about the pi spark component there are multiple components are available inside the pi spark like we have pi spark core programming is there we have a pi spark core programming okay so we have a pi spark core programming which is having a concept like rdd you may have heard about it rdd now on the top of this pi spark core programming we have a multiple other components are there like let's say pi spark sql we have pi spark streaming is there streaming is there then we have pi spark ml like machine learning algorithms and we have pi spark graphics is 
also there so those people who think that okay they are very good with the sql kind of technology they can write down their plain sql queries like let's say you are firing a command like select star from table name this command this sql command also you can directly run it along with the pyspark pyspark streaming is also available along with the pyspark component the good thing about the pyspark technology that it support both the processing like batch processing as well as streaming processing now let's say you have a batch kind of job is there let's say you have a batch kind of job means let's say you got one file today and you are going to process it by tomorrow so this is called batch processing streaming kind of processing data means where you are getting a data continuously like within a second you are getting a data you are processing it and finally you are storing it in the form of output so it process your pyspark streaming as well as batch kind of processing also can be done by using a technology called pyspark and not only pyspark if you take the example of scala java anything along with the spark that is going to be supported now we know about the machine learning nowadays this technology is also is pretty much very important so there are multiple algorithm which are supported by the uh, pyspark technology and graphics technology is also supported by the pyspark but all these core component are based on the this core programming which is a rdd programming but nowadays rdd no one is using or i can say people are using but very less because rdd programming is little difficult to understand so that's the reason people are going with the data frame kind of concepts so rest of the things i will cover in the next lecture if you think that uh, this is really going to be helpful for you please do like subscribe and share this channel and if you are looking for hadoop spark training you can reach out to us Thank you so much. Bye-bye.